Hello everyone, welcome to Man Faces Road to a Champion. This is my uh, Skyrim Hardcore Let's Play. Uh, I used to have Skyrim on console, played it, level 81, maxed all the skills legitimately. It was amazing. But what wasn't amazing is the fact that there was no good combat. After you've cleared the dungeon, most dungeons wouldn't refresh. Wouldn't refresh, and then you'd be out there battling. I mean, I smited the Ebony Warrior in like three hits. Man, we should have really taken that sword. That's good. That's good. I like it. So I gave myself some good skills, some good equipment, pretty much everything I used to wear in my console version of the game. I haven't like given it the champion's treatment yet, the uh, enchantments, but I've gone ahead and kitted him out. We're level 81. That's why everything seems a lot more serious, even though we're just in uh, uh sex. You know, we're just in Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh shit, bitch can kill me too. Uh, uh. And as you can see, it's gonna be serious, man. Let me uh let me get myself right because I never really set anything up. I know I got like regular heal. Yeah. Heal up. And I spent some points into the necessaries. I gave myself some healing. I gave myself destruction magic. I gave myself one-handed light armor. Just so I wouldn't just instantly fold up and die out here. Now, I would have been one-shotting these bros if I would have tempered the Breaker of Dawn, which is the sword I created in the creation kit. It has 100% explosion ratio on all enemies. Alright, that's enough setup, so let's get to the adventure. So Camilla Hilarious said that I could find a golden key in here and use that to make a little money apparently. And we got mad amounts of sneak, as you can see, because we just got straight creeps. Oh, shit. What? Why are you guys so weak? The dudes on the outside, man, they were beast mode. Oh well, let's move. And so I am a uh, one-handed spell type. I always enjoyed the Dawnbreaker. There's a lot of nicely modded weapons and things like that, but nothing could give me what I really wanted, which is the 100% explosion chance on the Dawnbreaker, because that junk just looks amazing. So I might have to turn the effects down. No, I think they might be a bit loud. I have to go back after the post edit and see. But as you can see, it's gonna be a nice adventure. Alright! You die instantly. No explosion for you, bro. Alright, so we get to these, like, I don't know. I wouldn't even call them puzzles. I mean, I guess they're puzzles, but not in the sense that you would think about them. It's a little obvious, but maybe that's a good thing. Cause that way you're not spending like a million years waiting around. Alright, let's go on ahead into the subterranean. Yeah. I'm not really too sure how, but I've uh, created it so that the dawn or the breaker of dawn explodes around people and does damage. I'm not too sure if it does damage to me yet. I hadn't figured that one out. Oh man, that's a big fighter. And they got a lay back there too. Oh, oh huge explosion. Man, I'd rather not fall. Okay, hey. 
looks interesting. You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Sure. Why not? Sweet breath of arcade, thank you. <laughs> you know it. So why'd I call you uh, Arvel the Swift? Ah, it's coming loose. I can feel it. Oh! One too many, I guess. Sack of shit. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'm good. I expected there to be like hundreds of thousands of true death lords running around these places considering that I was level 81, but I think I might have to uh, pass the story to a certain point just to see if they got tons of trooper death lords. These guys are still pretty serious. I don't have Bane of the Undead anymore. I honestly didn't find it all that good. Quality, quality, quality third person combat. I do like that. I mean, I've seen a lot of like archer builds and like first person mage builds, and that's cool. Oh, I'm going to 360 experience. And third person gaming is getting a lot more props now. Thank you. Before it was just your uncharted and things like that, but now. Flames. But now you get, you know, fallouts embracing third person. Oh, he was creeping, wasn't he? He was creeping. Huh, I'm good. I like that. Slice. Oh, it did nothing. My companion will die in that if you don't turn the trap off, though. It's rather funny. They get trapped in there. Up. I'm trying to move. Da -da -da -da. Tomb Raider. Beast mode. Boogers. Get a little magic out. What are you running for? Uh, back. This guy's pretty damn powerful. Now, I do have the Monster Mod and Monster Wars installed, so. I'm thinking once I get to a certain point, namely finishing with the Greybeards, that I'll be able to get a lot more hardcore content right now. Whoa, he's a regular Druger though. That's nice. Nice job. Uh, explosion is just so satisfying. I don't usually loot. There's no point. It's not like in uh, Fallout where you need the loot to make loot. I mean, I can go enchant daggers for days, sell them for thousand, two thousand dollars a dagger. Just in case you didn't know, that's how you do it on the console. You raise your smithing and your enchanting up all at the same time by making tons of daggers. And then enchanting all those daggers. And then they sell for like ridiculous. Especially like, uh, I think it was a vanish here. Right in the back. Right in the back. Right in the back. Explode. Right in the back. Alright, let's keep it moving. Uh, let's just keep it moving. I usually like to try to play real fast and get through my dungeons real fast. And that's probably why I had killed all the enemies in the original game usually spent the majority of my time searching dungeons because I was like oh ebony warrior yeah and then the dude was kind of a pushover even if you like took off the super intense gear and fought him he still was pretty much a pushover he did no shouts though I thought that was pretty sweet we'll go see that guy once I catch champions level <laughs> All right, we're getting in pretty far now. It shouldn't be too much longer. I 
will say that the dungeon design in this game is slightly all uninspiring. We got us a part part time. Da, 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 da. You know, I probably shouldn't give it an additional effect, so that does do very vain of the undead still. Because that was a nice little piece of kit in these places when they like run away from you. Oh look, we both misjudged it. I need to remember it's like Dark Souls and I can kind of touch these guys. Oh, in the stomach. So all these droopers are pretty much just getting cut down. <laughs> I mean, religiously. Uh, can I do it? Can I do it? But I got the ups. Up, oh, got the ups. Roll first. Yeah, let's keep going. We're almost out of here. Then we get the golden claw, and then we can talk to, uh, I don't know, Clamera Valenti about that boot. Anyways, let me get up inside here. I don't know how I feel about these. Uh, you gotta go and read the damn claw. Bear, dragon, owl. Uh, owl. I think that's, that could be a butterfly. Bear. One time, I had like lost the keys to one of these places. It was console edition. I forgot. I was trying to do something, and you needed like three keys to do. Anyways, I was scouring the earth <laughs> looking for those damn keys. I found them eventually. I had sold them to some guy in uh, the college in Winterhold. Thank goodness for the college in Winterhold, which we'll go visit a little later. They got a hot piece of booty over there. I need to pick up and play with. Whoa, what is this? Oh, maybe it's a Druber Death Lord. That'd be nice. I need to learn some shouts. I need to learn me some shouts. At least both some dots. That's a good shout. Who's the dark in the soul of the law? Oh shit, it, it, no, it's a Druber, right? Oh, the Scourge Lord! We were deemed worthy. Oh, shout. Good. We a good matchup for you, Andy. Let's just go toe to toe with him. I know I can maul him. I want to a little fisty cut with him. A little combat. A little fencing guy on me. Uh, I don't need it. I did need the dragon stone. Thank you. Dun 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 dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Was it just waiting for us? Was it just waiting for us? A new hand touches the beacon. Hey, sexy. Listen, listen hear me and obey. Okay, okay. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Oh, so not. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcree. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.
up to see if he could do it. And he came out pretty straight. He looks like a young man. gonna end the episode and uh, me and Camilla we're gonna go upstairs for a bit so until next time guys see ya Thank you.